Hi guys, you've been asking me some question about what I'm doing Christmas and what I like on Christmas. Now I'm going to answer this question for you while I whittle my sticks. You can see how beautiful my walking stick. I've done quite a few. Takes me a couple of days to do one. But I really enjoy it, relax me. And because I'm a cook, I express myself through food, also I need to relax it. This is one way I'm okay. I think it's up. I always have, because where I come from, you know, the lemon carriers, they used to carry in the sticks, because they had at the back there the, a big massive 70 kilo basket with the lemons, and the sticks was helping, you know, to walk those downstairs. Also, if the weight was a little bit heavy, they used to put a stick underneath, and they used to move the head. I don't know, I just love it. But I only can do walking stick with hazel or chestnuts. The only two which I can work really good. I think every part of Italy, there is a kind of local traditions. Where I come from, uh, the tradition is, is always to do with the sea. I was born 30 meters above the sea. 30 meters where the sea was my swimming pool. The mountains was my back garden and the village was my playground. Yes, we have a full of traditions, special uh, on a Christmas night. We go into church very late and for us Christmas Day is the Christmas Eve. And the Christmas Day is we to the leftover. But there's so much on everything so we make it. A nice friend, family, the fire, by sitting by the fire, you know walking up and down, you know, play uh, a kind of uh, play cards, you know, play with the children. It's completely, uh, it's like everybody else doing around the world. You know, everybody's got traditions. Mine is no different from the other one. Do lovely porchetta. Why not? Enjoy doing a porchetta. You get belly of a pork, you know, butterflies. Fill it up with so much rosemary, uh, pine canola, sultanas, a little liver, mortadella inside, many different herbs, a little bit of insanto, roll it up, put them in the oven, go back to bed, so the day after you find it's ready, it will be delicious. If you like turkey, cook turkey. It's too dry because perhaps you cook it for too long. Don't forget, so when you do, when you actually cook, you remove it. Okay, always cover up with some uh, aluminum foil and a damp cloth on top. Give them about at least half an hour before you start to slice it. Slice in a big, thick slice. Don't do very thin one, because if you do very thin one, of course it is dry. Ah, lemon, I love lemon. I'm, now we are making a, uh, a book about lemons. Oh yes, lemons. There's so many beautiful lemon dish. I like to do polenta, you know, flavor with the lemon. It's so good. Polenta with the lemon is got together. And marvelous. Or to serve with the little butter creams, butter and lemons. Perfect, perfect. That is one of them. But the other is a different one, you know. There is one, a Delizia della Costa, a little spongy, very, very fine, like a Saviard. Fill it up with a creamy lemonade and with a lovely, very light glaze on top. And when you put your spoon inside, you eat it. <gasps> so good. Parmigiano Reggiano, what else? Nothing else. Just get lovely parmigiano reggiano. Parmigiano is not just to grate it, it's to eat. Just flake it, break it, you will love it. That is for everything. You're talking about the Befana. <laughs> I don't. But children do believe, because I used to believe as well, and it's, it's kind of a Father Christmas. So to have a double present. The first one is Father Christmas and bring you present. And then on the 6th of the next month, so we have the Befana, big small one present, so many of everything. And I believe it's she fly on a broom. <laughs> yes, I'm grown up. 
I do believe it. For the children. Yes. You know, since I, be, since I come in England, always was in a dilemma. And I had to cook a Brussels sprouts. And there's so many different ways. Jamie, if you look Christmas special now, Jamie, the new Christmas special, is doing a really, really different way. Oh my God, believe me, it's good. If you're not, it's so easy. You know, if you want on a salad, blanch it, cook nice, squeeze on top. With the lemons, olive oil, little salt, have as a salad. I mean, you can sort it under different way. Cover with the breadcrumb. Cook with the bacon. Saute the bacon. You know, blanch the Brussels sprout. Put them inside and oh, little. Do you know what? I mind. I do like Brussels sprouts the way they are. The very traditional English Brussels. Brussels is different country. Sprouts. I don't know. The little, the little cauliflower. So when you actually. You cook turkey, chicken, or whatever, beef, or there's a pork. They always, uh, under the tray, especially on a veggie tray, or on a big roast pot, or whatever you do, there is always that sticky stuff almost burnt. Put it back on the fire, splashing a glass of wine inside, and slowly, 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 try to, to remove everything around, and put the rest of the juice inside. Then just put a little bit of a flour inside, Pick it up, sieve it, serve it, and join it. <laughs> I like panettone, but pandoro also is good. I like a really nice panettone. That now there is so many different variety of a panettone, you spoil for choice. You don't know which one you wanted to get. But if you have any leftover, don't forget you can make also different pudding as well. Make a lovely bread and butter pudding with a panettone. <gasps> oh my God, you're gonna love it. I never had a Christmas present. It, it's strange, it was La Befana, like we said, is on the 6th, uh, on the 6th January, is the day of the Befana where the witch bring you a present. My present, it was a little pen knife, believe me or not because I couldn't carve this walking stick, and I would love it. Ah. Now, cost will be lasagna. I just love a big lasagna, but also I love a tortellini in brodo, also I love a cannelloni, also I love a pasta al forno. There's so many different pasta. I love them all. Yes, but you know what? If somebody will make a lasagna for the Christmas day, I will love it. Why well, I'm cooking so good? I don't know. Do you know what? I, I don't know where these words come from, but I remember I was in Italy filming with Antonio and I, I tasted what I was cooking and I said, why? I wanted to say, this is good. Instead, I said, why am I cooking so good? Let me tell you why. Because many years before, I was watching a film of Friday Night Dancing, something like that, with John Travolta. And then I can see it was... Call me, uh, it, it was Saturday Night Fever, you can see. Jesus, that was a long time ago. It was Comey's here, and he looked himself in the mirror and said, why am I so Beautiful, I'm so nice looking. I think this is, I don't know. Just, just I do. If you understand me, okay, if you don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. One thing I can tell, my cooking is good. Cha cha, Merry Christmas. Please do cook whatever you want to cook. Enjoy being with your family, your friend, your love, and everybody else. And if you have a little pen knife, you're going to walk in stick, carving. You're really relaxing. Arrivederci. What was what, what it called? It? Friday night? Feast. That's Jamie's show. Saturday night fever. It is because uh, it is in the scene. It's in a, a Saturday night. What's it called? Fever. Saturday night. It was. It was coming here. I said, oh my God, look at that. <laughs>
And uh, I wanted to say, this is good. And Tony was there, he looked at me like that. And I said, why am I cooking so good? And then he looked, he said, well, let's have a look at the end. <laughs>